Hey guys, it's Charlie here. Got a couple questions that came in from Don and from Neil. Neil isn't a uh, part of our uh, mastery community, but I'm going to answer both of these and I'm going to split them up, put them online so that people can get their answers because that's what I do. I love answering your questions, making it real for you. It's a beautiful day in Florida. Cold front went through last night. It's like 72 degrees, low humidity, a little chilly, so I'm wearing my uh, uh, whatever you call this shirt, <laughs> long sleeve Michigan based uh, dry fit shirt. Be working out a little later and enjoying this beautiful weather. I gotta show it to you. See if I can give you a little tour. Oh man, beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed that little tour. All right, here we go. Don says he's pumped because he's doing his amazing new course, and it might be multiple courses, three minutes to change your life. So he said, if you don't mind, I have a few questions as I go about setting things up in Kajabi and social media. Number one, what payment methods do you recommend setting up in Kajabi? At one point you mentioned your sales increasing when you added PayPal. Is just having PayPal enough or do you need another payment processor in addition to that? Now, Kajabi makes it incredibly easy to interface with different payment processors. I interfaced first with Stripe and Stripe's very easy to set up it's about the same in terms of the charge that it puts on uh, a transaction. It's like two, two and a half, three percent, somewhere in there. And it's about the same as PayPal. So my thing is this, I would never want somebody to not pay me because they don't like PayPal. So my recommendation is to use Stripe. Connect that to your bank account and then connect Kajabi to Stripe and to use PayPal. Incredibly powerful both ways to give people options. If you're in an international like uh, country, a different country, for example, and there's a specific payment processor that Kajabi supports that's very popular in your region or country or area, whatever that is, I would add that too, just to give people options so they don't feel like, oh, I gotta use PayPal or I got, and I need just no reason to not purchase what you got. So I hope that helps. Number two, some content will be free, some will be paid. Obviously the paid stuff will be in Kajabi, but what about the free stuff? Does the free stuff go on social media? Facebook, blog, YouTube, or does it go in Kajabi? So here's what I've done. A lot of my free stuff, and I do strongly recommend you SEO optimize it, put it in YouTube, because I don't know how this has happened, but there's a video that I have called How to Tell If It's Time to End a Relationship that's part of the life assessment work. Like before the life assessment was a thing, I thought about relationships being part of a future kind of assessment. And in that dialogue, I go through the formula for change and I put it on face or on YouTube and it's gained, I don't know, 15 to 20 views a day for the last nine months. So it's at like almost 3,800 views now and it just keeps growing. Now in that video, I'm linking to the assessment and ways to serve. So we're just gaining traction there. However, I also put that video as a bonus in my uh, Kajabi. If you look in some of the, I can't think of where I put that, but it should be in one of the courses or one of the programs, maybe the Health, Wealth and Happiness Monthly Mastery Bonus, somewhere in there. So use them in both places, and I would even challenge you to use them in more places than that. For example, at charlie2.com and charliecaldwell.com, you'll see a lot of those videos sit on Tumblr embedded from YouTube and now I'm gonna start embedding those videos into my uh, LinkedIn profile because you can publish posts or articles. And I'll be doing that similar Tumblr style work that I do where I do a video, have a summary with links to get more information and links to fill out the application, do all the things that I'd love for them to do. But also there's a transcript. So if, I hope that answered. Um, in terms of Facebook, You'll see just recently, I started my new campaign I'm gonna be kicking off in April and I'm just kind of priming the engine for it, sharing clips of my trainings on my personal profile, on my Health, Wealth and Happiness with Charlie Caldwell page, which is a page, not a group. I'll share some of that in our Health, Wealth and Happiness mastery group. It's just getting it in front of the eyeballs of where it can make the most difference. I'll be sharing it in other groups as appropriate too. Today I shared one of my videos in the Certified High Performance Coaches group, getting all kinds of great feedback on it that was from this training, <laughs> actually. So it was really powerful, just a little clip of it. So I hope that helps. If you wanna go over a strategy with that, Don, let me know, because I'll be happy to uh, bounce that around with you. We'll kind of come up with your own test strategy, see what works, and make sure there's consistency in it. That's the aspect. That's what Google looks for, as you know. That's what people look for. And that's what really starts to scale that awareness piece towards bringing them into leads, which we covered today right here. Yeah, right here <laughs> in our ultimate funnel outline. Three, regarding social media is best practice to post it on my personal account or set up an account just for the three minutes to change your life stuff. Here's the thing. In the last few months, as you probably have seen, 
uh, I guess in the last few weeks, Mark Zuckerberg said, we're gonna go back to providing relevant information to people on a personal level, what's relevant to them personally. So a lot of the people that built their subscribers and a lot of people spent a lot of money are really kind of mad right now because they did that and all, they're like likes, including Brendan Burchard, the likes per post, the shares have gone way down and it comes back to what we teach and what I taught today and we teach in the Ultimate Relationship Outline, that inner spiral. So if you're keeping people up to date on your personal profile, I would challenge you to add some of that in there. Test and measure what's getting results. Maybe create a three minutes to change your life page. But I probably at this point wouldn't put a lot of money into it. Where I would put money is in ads towards offers. Ads towards lead uh, opt-ins as we talked about today. Like an assessment. Three minutes to change your life. Like the overview of here's five or six areas that you really need to concentrate on to change your life. And that would be maybe part of an assessment. That might be part of the lead magnet you use in a uh, on Kajabi pipeline, but also as part of your um, strategy online for ads. So I would, to answer your question, personal profile first, maybe test three minutes to change your life, page or group. One of those, probably a group over a page is what we're seeing more results with. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for the great question. That was Don's question. And I hope that answer serves, rocks it out. If you wanna go over strategy, be happy to do that with you, my man. Rocking it. All right, Neil, he had a, Neil, here's Neil's answers. And boy, did Neil have a lot of questions. But I figured I'd answer it this way, post it all over the place, because it's really part of my purpose in life is to take the requests that come into me and rather than just email or Facebook message or response, create a video response because I know others can benefit from this as well. So Neil, I'm just gonna read what he said. We got uh, five questions here inside his his message. <laughs> Thanks, Neil, for rocking this out. And I want to just make sure that we give credit to the entire aspect of what he's trying to cover here. It's about membership, monthly subscription, building a monthly subscription site like Kajabi, those kind of things. So that's the framing. Here we go. First, he says, congratulations on the success you're having with the Kajabi platform. This is so awesome. If you don't know, we just hit six figures inside eight months. And that's with just working to people we knew. We haven't gone into the full-blown funnels just yet. That's what we're doing April, May, June. This is being filmed in March. Uh, I watched your most recent Facebook Live and a couple days ago, and I was wondering if I could ask some questions about your monthly coaching offer, which is actually my monthly membership offer that includes high-performance coaching. So if you want to learn more about what that all encompasses, go to BIT. Let me think about that for a minute. Uh, I can't even think of where that, that address, the BIT address for that. I'll make sure to, when I edit this video, put the BIT address right here. <laughs> so you can go to it if you want to. So the first question, well, let me prime this. I remember last year, prior to launching the program, we had a founding member, our early bird price point, that was below the full retail price of $2.97 a month. Question number one, what did you offer as incentives for somebody to sign up at the early bird price? The early bird price was the incentive. There was a time limit and a people limit on it. So the idea of urgency and scarcity, which is so, so important with any of this, very, very pivotal. So use that to your, we're gonna end this promotion on this particular day. And if you wanna get in at this price point, lock it in for life, jump in. That was it. I hope that helps, because this is gold. Second, what was your thinking behind offering your program as a monthly versus higher price signature program, which may be priced over 5K? So inside the community, there's two courses that hit the biggest objections for people. The first one is what I call the CHPC, Certified High Performance Coach Business Builder course. And that's retail price is 1997. Like it tells you exactly how to build a sustainable six figure business. And we go through very clear tactics, trainings that have worked for me and have worked for others now too. The second big objection is how do I create a monthly membership program, recurring revenue, equals personal freedom, that's one of my themes, that's a million dollars a year and we're building that right now and I documented the entire process for it. Here's the trick though, it isn't about getting a lot, like it isn't about getting thousands of members per se, it's about getting uh, 300 members, 350 members who really you have quality relationships with. Because what we know about membership uh, retention is when you have quality relationships, membership retention goes up. We also know this, the higher the price point, 
the more, typically, the more people pay attention to what you've got. And I'm seeing that to be true. So the biggest part of this is those courses that are part of the community, I will offer them separately as signature products, but you'll see, and I'm just toying around this, don't uh, commit, I'm not committing to this, but this is the idea, that you can buy the program for two grand or get it as a bonus for joining the monthly uh, membership community for two ninety seven a month. Because I really want the recurring revenue above and beyond like the one hit wonder launch kind of thing, although we will be doing some launches. So I hope that helps. I just have a preference for recurring revenue over anything because I'm in this for the long haul for the people I love, care for, and serve, and that includes you. <laughs> Rock it! So I hope that answers your question. Number three, what with your current monthly coaching program, what is the breakdown of what you're offering weekly? Week one, week two, week three, week four. All the monthly coaching program, which is essentially the monthly mastery community membership is, is two Wednesdays a month, about every two to three weeks throughout the year, we do high performance coaching, going through the core sessions, then we go through the charge sessions, then we'll be going through at the end of this year, the new declarations, which are based on the motivation manifesto. And I think next year, Brenner will be releasing the book, uh, the sessions built on high performance habits. So 48 total sessions is literally two years of content every other week. Then once a month, we have health, wealth, and happiness training, one hour, one Saturday a month. It's usually from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern time. And then from noon to one, we do business and internet mastery training. And then from 1.30 on, and this is as long as it takes, I'm on Zoom answering anybody's questions, doing strategies, we're working off the whiteboard, doing all that kind of stuff. So that's the breakdown of like what we're offering. It's not a weekly thing, it's a bi-weekly and a monthly thing, but throughout the month, I'm available to do what I'm doing right now, answer people's questions. I try to do that in video. Four, once your program is started, what happens if somebody joins after it's been going a couple months? Do they go on a waiting list for the next start date or do you put them in a drip campaign, start with month one? And everything, this, you said, this assumes you're recording all your sessions and offering the replays as evergreen product. Yes, everything we do is live casted. The coaching sessions, the monthly trainings, and the Zoom roundtable is live. All of those recordings are stuck into Kajabi for people to, to watch. So to answer your question, if they come in and we're in between uh, starting a new high performance group coaching round, and we're like 10 sessions in, they start with session one on their own and work themselves up to where we're at. But I'm, gonna, I'm working to get that strategy so about every six months, we're doing a new group to really go after that idea of helping people from where they're at right now. So they have the live interaction piece that's what the goal is for the future. Right now, we started this group that we have in play in August of 2017. We'll be doing our new group in August 2018. We'll be doing a launch for that, and it'll be part of the idea. You can just join your group coaching at $500 a month, or you can become part of the community and get it for $297 a month. And the final question is number five. What has been your main strategy to fill your program? Do you have a minimum number for a started program? The main strategies are what I teach in the exceptional relationship outline, wait, the <laughs> ultimate relationship outline, I'm getting my models confused. And it's all about these four things, one-to-one, -one, really communicating with people one-to-one, -one, reaching out to them, just people that I've met, people that I know that can really benefit. Then email, doing that in person, by the way. And then emailing to have a video conversation, like a Zoom conversation, to see where they're at right now and if they're a good fit for the program. And then even texting, uh, phone calls, those kind of things. So it's a real personal thing to get the thing started. And then we go and scale. And that's the last four pieces. So if you're not in my membership community, I'd love for you to get in because I teach you that as part of the exceptional relationship outline. And you'll see exactly how I built to get the six figures in short order while I'm doing a bunch of other stuff. I think I could have got there much faster if I just concentrated on that, but I'm bringing closure to a lot of clients from that I'm responsible for in our other business and just systemizing things along the way. I can, I'm blessed to be able to do that and have that fun. So I hope that helps. Uh, you ask these questions because you're creating something similar. Want to have a better understanding the benefits of offering my coaching program, the monthly investment or a higher price one-off fee. And you might do both because that's kind of how I'm going to frame it. But it's much more advantageous to them to join the community than it is to just get the coaching from a price point and much more benefit. So thanks, Charlie. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, Neil. Rocked it. Hope that helps. Thanks so much for being here. There's your answers, guys. So if you have any questions and you're watching these answers, let me know. More than happy to help you out. Rock and roll. Peace. Wait, you know I'm here to help you live purposefully, passionately, positively, 
productively, and when we say productive, high performance, means we're doing the right things, not necessarily more things, living into our life's work, our life's ambitions, but having time to live in harmony too, and of course, profitably. That being said, take care, have a good one, bye.